In the previous episode, I examined the light side of the My Little Pony fanbase, bronies. But in the pursuit of all things being fair, today I'm going to pursue the dark side of the My Little Pony fanbase, a group of adult men and women who love masturbating to these... Uh, characters. They call themselves cloppers. Yeah, it is a play on the term what fappers fla oh, it doesn't matter what, what it's named after look let's just rip off this metaphorical band-aid and jump right down the rabbit hole shall we The unexpected success of the animated series My Little Pony Friendship is Magic spawned an unexpected fanbase of adult men and women who call themselves bronies. This fanbase redefined fandom and broke normal social conventions. But as we all know, everything has a dark side. The success of the show spawned another unexpected fanbase of adult men and women who call themselves cloppers. Who are cloppers? Cloppers are people who love My Little Pony porn, whether that's through Rule 34, porn videos, clop fix, or audio narrations of clop fix. For example, Rainbow Dash going down on Twilight Sparkle, or Pinkie Pie eating out Applejack, or Rarity fisting Spike where the sun don't shine. It's not exactly known when cloppers became a thin, but considering how quickly bronies became a thin, it's probably safe to assume that cloppers started shortly after bronies. And while they are nowhere near as popular as bronies, they still have managed to carve a unique little niche for themselves. According to a survey done by Pornhub, males are 37% more likely to watch My Little Pony porn than females, while males 18 to 24 are 290% more likely. And the country that views the most My Little Pony porn will surprise you. It's not the US or Canada, but Belarus, who are the most viewed 462%. There's even a live-action direct-to-video porn film called Tash Ponytails, which released in 2014, and it's just as dirty as you think it is. It's basically naked women pretending to be ponies while using rainbow pony plugs as tails. So basically, it's a movie made by cloppers, by a bunch of women with butt plug ponytails. This rabbit hole goes deep the more you delve into it, and since I'm a glutton for punishment, that's exactly what I'm going to do. There are some cloppers out there who do more than just jerk off to cartoon ponies. Some of them roleplay and pretend to go out on dates with them. I, I had a really great night tonight. You know, it was really good getting to know you more. You know, I love, I love talking with you. I, I really love being around you. You're such a great mayor. You know, I had a. A really good night tonight, you know, everything went just as planned, perfect, you know, the food was great, you know, the spaghetti. Others make videos explaining why, in their minds, it's okay to clop. Hello again, this is Clopabite, this is my second video. I had some discussions with uh, people over, our ponies over at the uh, clopping uh, Reddit uh, IRC chat, and I, I learned some things. Um, about I learned some things about myself. One thing is that I consider clopping to be an art form, <laughs> and I consider it to be something that can be classy and something that can be disgusting. Why are grown adults so attracted to My Little Pony porn? According to an article on the Daily Dot, quote, They are sort of the black sheep in the community. There's a fear that the small percentage of cloppers will give the rest of bronies a bad name by perpetuating the idea that the fandom totally derives from a sexual fetish. The brony fanbase has already been stigmatized as pedophiles and sexual deviants, which explains why bronies have distanced themselves from cloppers. Some are closeted cloppers, and the reason for that is because they believe if they openly speak out about it, they'll be awesome ostracized from the community. I believe the reason why cloppers are the way they are is because to them it's a fantasy they want to live out for some strange reason. It gives them, dare I say it, comfort. It's a fetish in the dirtiest sense of the word. Why else do you think they devote so much of their time towards this interesting subculture? It's an escape from the real world and into a fantasy, or in this case, a sexual fantasy. You could also make the argument that cloppers exist because of nostalgia, as an article from Mike explains. Quote, Millennials love cartoon porn, and My Little Pony is yet another iteration of this trend. Young people love to trade on nostalgia, and that extends to our porn-watching habits too, end quote. 
Millennials are 190% more likely to search for hentai than the 35 and up crowd, while 131% are more likely to search for anime. So yeah, grown adults totally love seeing fictional cartoon characters bump and grind. Despite everything I've said, Cloppers are still a hugely despised fanbase, and in order to figure out why, we have to look no further than its harshest critics. To say that bronies hate cloppers would be the understatement of the millennium. In their eyes, cloppers are the reason the MLP fanbase isn't taken seriously by the mainstream, as they assume bronies as a whole are pedophiles and sexual deviants, not knowing that bronies and cloppers are completely separate fanbases. As one brony remarked, quote, Cloppers take an innocent show and twist it around to strip it of its innocence like a rapist easily strips a woman of her virginity. There is nothing worse in the fandom than a clopper, end quote. They ruin the fandom, they ruin the community's public image and they think it's funny slash normal end quote. Another brony gave this opinion stating, quote, it's literally just regular porn but with foam winds and pony ears. They're just slapping bronies bronies on it to get the fandom's attention end quote. There's a good reason why bronies have such a disdain for cloppers. There are a lot of misinformed people out there who have no idea how the internet works and are completely out of touch. They assume bronies and cloppers are the same when they're clearly not. People like Howard Stern and Fox News are good examples of this. But honestly, if it were just old, out of touch men and women, that might be one thing. But there are people out there who know how the internet works and still can't tell the difference between bronies and cloppers and don't even take the time to research. A good example of this is a video called my Little Pony fans by Mr. Epsion. So for those of you who don't know what clopping means, clopping is the act of fapping, jacking off, jerking off, masturbating to that of My Little Pony. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, he did in fact say that flopping can be considered classy. That's definitely a new definition for me, and I'll probably never be able to use the word classy ever again without thinking of this nut job. Okay then, it had more impact on you than any other of the ponies flashing their vaginas. Here's the thing, if you want to masturbate to cartoon characters for design for young little girls, by all means, you go ahead and do you. I mean, I'm all about doing you. If that's what you like, that's what you want, go ahead and do you, man. Well, the fact that you are considering the act of masturbating to a young cartoon show designed for young girls as a classy act is absolutely appalling to me. It's disgusting. It's repulsive. There is absolutely nothing classy about masturbating to a pony, no matter how far down the rabbit hole you attempt to justify it. This is how bronies get revenge on an anti-brony. You don't mess with bronies. Oh yeah, you don't mess with bronies. Well, guess what? I'm messing with them right fucking now. And that, that, that pink paint on that car, ooh, man, that is truly intimidation factor. Like, if I've ever been intimidated by something, definitely pink, right, writing on, pink text on my car is definitely going to just, you know, strike a fear in me so much that I will conform to your ideology of bronyism. Because, you know, if someone is anti-something of you, that means you must commit vandalism, right? <coughs> <coughs> Oh, God, I feel sick. My stomach right now. Uh, we all know that asking someone to have sex with you on the date is definitely one of the most effective means to get laid. You just, you just say to them, thank you for the dinner, do you want to have sex with me later? Because that, that's what normal people do while talking to fucking goddamn ponies. Typically normal, natural behavior. You know, I really... This, ladies and gentlemen, is how the story ends. Is this what the brony fandom has become? What it has been? What it is and has been for such a long time? People are able to like whatever they want to like, but it's your actions and behavior which reflect why I can't take the show seriously, but also the people involved with being fans of it. My Little Pony is fucking cancer. Get over it. Is this what the Brony fandom has become, what it has been, what it is, and has been for such a long time? No! 
I can see this conflict from both sides. On one hand, I understand why bronies don't like cloppers very much. As I mentioned in the previous video, they have worked incredibly hard to become a thin, to be taken seriously by the mainstream, to be accepted and not written off as a creepy pervert. And the actions of cloppers in their eyes only undermine that. It makes people who already have a preconceived bias against bronies not take the fanbase and the show in general seriously. And when you look at what they've done with the show's beloved characters, it's not hard to see why bronies and cloppers aren't the best of friends. On the other hand, I don't believe cloppers are harming anybody. Everybody has their kinks and fetishes. Now that's not to say I agree with or support cloppers because I absolutely don't, but I understand why they do what they do, and at the end of the day there's worse stuff than cloppers. Rule 34 in general is heart attack inducing and the internet is a place where two girls one cup exists, so if we could survive those, I'm pretty sure cloppers are the least of our worries. This was such a challenging episode for me to write. Bronies had this treasure trove of information. In fact, there was so much information on bronies that I had to leave a lot of stuff out because I reasonably couldn't talk about it all. But with Cloppers, that was an entirely different story. I had to really dig deep to find the information that I needed for this video. I combed through dozens of articles, forum posts, and I listened to a lot of uh, clop fix on YouTube and read a few for this video over the course of this month. So, uh, yeah, I've been kind of consumed by My Little Pony, not only for this episode, but by the previous one on Bronies as well. Uh, it is just, it's mind-boggling, really. And Cloppers are, they're interesting, to say the least, and I use that in air quotes. Uh, I don't think I can actually use the word interesting ever again after I said that. But, really, it's just, I think, if anything, Cloppers really show that you can make a fan base out of just about anything, regardless if it's twisted and wrong and morally questionable. If you can make a fan base, you can make a fan base, and I firmly believe that they are not harming anybody. Sure, the things that they do, I do not agree with or support in any way. They are just, no, I mean, I, I've seen a few of them, and... It's just, it's horrifying, let's just go with that. But, I don't think they're harming anybody. I mean, everybody has their kinks and fetishes. And really, if, if you're into that kind of stuff in your personal life, then, hey, all more power to you. As long as you don't force it down my throat or anyone else's throat, whatever. You, you, you do what you want. What you do with your personal life is your business, really. And, uh... Yeah, I, I, it just goes to show that every fan base has a dark side, and for those people that think that bronies are nothing more than pedophiles and sexual deviants, they're not. In fact, that's a very small minority. Bronies and cloppers, as I've showcased in this video, are completely separate fan bases. They are not alike in any way other than they like My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, and that's it. But, unfortunately, you know, there are a lot of misinformed people that don't know and don't take the time to research and think, you know, bronies are just creepy perverts. And cloppers don't really do very much to help that reputation, you know. And you know, it, it, it's unfortunate, I wish it wasn't like that, but unfortunately, that is the world that we live in. I could say more about cloppers, but I think you kind of get the point. So, I'm just going to end it here. Uh, also, by the way, uh, next month's episode is going to be on uh, Chris Chan, and I'm warning you right now, it is going to be quite a long episode. Typically, a guide to surviving the internet episode is about 10 to 15 minutes on average. This one's probably going to be 20, 25, maybe even 30. It really just depends on how it all pans out, but it's going to be long because there is so much, there is just so much on Chris Chan that it, I, I, I'm going to need a lot of time to just talk about it all, so uh, there's a fair warning, so yeah. Now, yeah, that's all I got to say. This is That Kid Douglas, a.k.a. The End Hero, signing out. Deuces, stay frosty and keep it weird. Human outro sequence now.
are you feeling today, Chris? Now, now, we talked about this. There is absolutely no reason to strangle Clyde Cash. He is just some silly troll that doesn't exist. He is just a figment of your imagination. Come on, Chris, the no, no, please, don't rip apart that Harley Quinn doll. Yes, I know Suicide Squad was a terrible movie, but she was the best part of Bat, and you're gonna tear her apart? Th there's no reason to do that. Come on, don't, please don't, please, please don't. You despite, you are so despicable, Clyde. I am going to beat your lights out. I am going to drag you right in front of everyone if we ever meet in Alec, I am going to shove your ass down your throat and make you eat your underwear! There, no, Chris, no, d d you, you, you don't have to strangle Clyde Cash, and you certainly don't need to drag him in front of everybody and make him eat his own underwear. That's just barbaric. You, d you don't need to do that. This is just the internet. It's, it's not that serious. <laughs> Please, please, please don't do that. Please don't scream and shout and. Ah, ah. You look like you're just gonna soil yourself. You, you don't need to do that. Please don't. Oh, you hear me? You are dead. You are dead. You are dead. Okay. Is there anything else you need to say, Chris? <laughs> <laughs>